This is the first generation Toyota Celica. It's the Supra's grandfather and it's one of the best looking JDM cars ever made. It's also rear wheel drive which makes it the perfect candidate for basically any build, but yet it's still heavily underrated. And that gave me the idea to find out what other cars are extremely badass but still underrated. And so this list has eight other cars like the Celica. And the first one is the Toyota Cressida. Now this bad boy is a long, luxurious, and sporty sedan. And that means it's a perfect candidate for a drift build. You can swap the engine for a V8 or a 2JZ, and then you're gonna be ready to start drifting gracefully and in style with this bad boy. Honestly, this thing just looks super cool no matter which generation that you get. So if you've been in a sex drought for the last your entire life, then this car is perfect because it'll get you all the attention you could ever want from dudes. I mean, you're gonna get a ton of dudes just coming up to you, just begging you to tell them about your car. I mean, car. And that brings us on nicely, actually, to the next car. I mean, I mean car. And that is the Subaru SVX, which has been all but forgotten, lucky for us. It has the most outlandish styling of any car in the 90s with a nice retro modern look that most manufacturers weren't daring enough to try. And as you can see, this means this car can be made to look extremely good. Add on the fact that this car has a powerful flat six engine that sounds amazing. <laughs> And this 90 sports car has all the ingredients that go into making a supercar. Now, I should tell you before you wet yourself with excitement that this car only came in a four-speed automatic. <laughs> yeah, actually, when I learned this, I felt like I had met the girl of my dreams and then found out she had a penis. And uh, speaking of penises, let's talk about the Toyota Prius. Basically, this is just a piece of metal that Toyota made and people bought because they wanted to put themselves above other people morally since this car has two motors, which means it kills the environment twice as fast. Actually, the Prius was made to be efficient, not really to save the environment, and it was also made to be extremely boring, unlike the Honda CRZ. Now, this bad boy was made to be fun because they combined a gas engine and electric motor in the same way that they made the McLaren P1 and the Ferrari LaFerrari. And this means that when you turbocharge this car, you get some insane results. I mean, this thing just seems like an insane supercar if you ignore the fact that it's front wheel drive, but they're still stupid cool because it's basically just a toned down version of the modern Honda NSX. So they're not really old like the other cars on this list, but they're still just awesome and uh, pretty underrated. But you know what's better than a car made by Honda? A car made by an HVAC company like Mitsubishi because we're going to talk about the Mitsubishi Galant VR4. Now I think the 8th generation one is the best looking of the bunch and it also is a twin turbocharged V6 with all wheel drive. Also this car had the same next gen technology fitted to it as the Lancer Evolution which means this car handles like a damn Lamborghini. This is basically a rally car for the road, a budget Lancer Evolution and uh, nobody talks about it for some reason. The next car is the Nissan Cedric, which is a handsome mid-size rear-wheel drive sedan. The Y31 is one of the best looking ones. I mean, it just looks awesome. Very similar to the Toyota Cressida, and it's also not that heavy, which means it would make a sick drift build. The Y32 also looks sick. In fact, it looks a lot like a Bentley, but it also weighed more, and it also came in an automatic. These are slow cars, okay? They didn't even have a V8 option. You could only get a V6, but still, a rear-wheel drive Japanese sedan, this thing is just cool. But you know what's better than a rear-wheel drive sedan? A minivan. Yeah, the Toyota Previa is next up on this list. Now this thing was all wheel drive, mid engine and supercharged. So basically it has all the ingredients of a supercar, but it's a minivan. Now I should tell you that the supercharger was actually added to this car because uh, it was too slow without it. And also when they added the supercharger, they took away the manual option, but it's just a hilarious car. Just to think about a supercar in a minute. Okay, you've, you've probably heard about this car already. I'm just gonna move it on because the next car is the Mazda MX-6. <laughs> and no, I'm not having a stroke. Yes, the MX-6 is a real car. It's based on the same platform as the Ford Probe. So it's 
front wheel drive. Now in the States, you could get a 2.5 liter V6, which is actually pretty cool. And I like this car because it looks good, especially stanced. Nobody talks about it. And it has the old Mazda logo on it, which kind of reminds me of my Miata. But honestly, would I buy any of these cars? Mm, no. Instead, I'd probably think about buying one of the cars on this list because, you know, there's a ton of underrated JDM cars and some of them are actually worth buying, like the ones in this list. Then, once you find one you like, just go out there, start a business, get rich, and buy one of these bad boys because that's what life is all about.